Let's take a look at the mass of one atom of potassium, that's K. And we're going to look at the mass of an average potassium atom. So really all we need to do is calculate the molar mass. Actually here it's the atomic mass, and we're just going to divide that by Avogadro's number. So the atomic mass for potassium, the average atomic mass right here from the periodic table, 39.10. And you can think of the units as grams per mole. So we have 39. 0 0.10 grams in one mole of potassium. We're going to multiply this by conversion factor. So we know that one mole of any substance, that's Avogadro's number of particles. So in essence, we're just dividing this number by Avogadro's number. But what's nice is because this is a conversion factor, these cancel out. So we're going to end up with grams. So when we divide 39.10 grams by Avogadro's number here, we get 6.48 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. And that makes sense. We know that atoms are pretty small, so we should end up with a very small number. If we wanted to convert this to kilograms, the mass of one atom of potassium in kilograms, we divide this by 1,000. So that would make it even smaller, 6.48 times 10 to the negative 26. Finally, this is the average mass for an atom of potassium. If you had a specific isotope, say potassium 40. You would put 40, that's the mass number for the isotope potassium 40. You put 40 in here instead of 39.10. Do the math. That would give you the mass of one atom of the potassium isotope potassium 40. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of potassium. Thanks for watching.